This weekend, I am racing my first double header at Fox Valley, which means that we are finally racing a GP again after a long hiatus. So for those of you who don't know how Fox Valley does their race weekends, on Saturdays, they do their GPs, and on Sundays, they do their hair scrambles. And usually, I would choose between one or the other for a race weekend. But this weekend, I decided, why not try both? So for the GP today, I am in the 12 to 29 C class with 21 other riders, which is actually a huge turnout given how hot it was for the race. Now, usually with Fox Valley, they do four laps per moto for the GPs. However, today they said the laps were pretty short, so for this first moto, they bumped it up to five laps. So it's been roughly 10 months since I've done my last GP, so let's see if I still have what it takes. So keeping with my tradition of Moto1 dead engine starts and GPs, I don't get my bike started on the first kick, and I am towards the back of the pack. Now the issue with this is it is dusty. It has not rained in a very long time. And you can see as we move out into this open trail section, it, there there's a lot of dust. And GoPros never do dust justice, but when you can visibly see it on a GoPro, then you know it was pretty bad. So we move into the woods here, and this is the same section for every GP that we start on. We always go down this hill, then we come and cross this creek, and I'm trying to make a pass on this guy on the Honda, and I end up getting around him going up this hill. And then once we get up this hill, then we are on the course, and we stay on this course for the rest of the race. My original goal for the weekend was just to get out, ride, have fun, and conserve energy for the hair scramble, which is tomorrow, because that was my original focus of the weekend. That's not to say I wasn't going to try for this race, but again, it was a hot weekend, and especially on race weekends, the heat can really suck the energy out of you. So I didn't want to go into the hair scramble tomorrow completely dead and out of energy. But I quickly threw that plan out the window about halfway through this first lap of the GP. Just because you can see I'm keeping up with these guys, we're having battles, and I'm having a ton of fun. Now that's not to say I'm riding well by any means because you can see I lost my balance on this uphill and now I'm just gooning my way up this hill. So we come out onto this grass track section and it's hard to see but there's a guy right in front of me that I'm really catching up to, especially in this section I made up a lot of time on him and we end up having a really good battle throughout this entire race. We move into the woods here and you can see now I am right on his rear fender. So now we're coming into scoring and I thought I would be cool and try and make a pass by going over this log, but actually looking at the video now and a spur of the moment decision during the race, I saw that I lost quite a bit of ground on him by going over the log. So that was a little bit slower line for me, so I ended up throwing out going over the log for the rest of the race.
Now it's not to say that it was a total loss because you can see as we move into the woods here I'm catching up on him very quickly but we have to keep in mind this is a GP so if I kept going over the log every single lap and he kept going around it he would continue building a gap on me and there's not a lot of time to make up ground so if I want to try and get around him then I need to switch up some lines here and start making some moves. I feel like the motocross track is one of the sections at Fox Valley here that I've made a lot of improvement on. Last year I would get passed on this track like it was nobody's business but this year for this race at least I was keeping up with people pretty well Now that's not to say there's no room for improvement but I am taking a step in the right direction so here there's a guy pulled over on the side end up getting around him I think I've made around four passes so far just from uh, some passes on the start some guys pulled over on the side as well as some crashing but the guy that I was having a battle with, he did pull away from me a little bit. He's right ahead there. You can kind of see him, but again, when we get through this grass track section, I do make up quite a bit of time on him. So we finish up the next lap and speaking of giving up time, I just pull over and slow down for this guy and let him around me and I have no idea what I was doing. I'm just getting too used to doing that in hair scrambles and it's an issue that I'm really having this year. Guys aren't even revving at me, they're not yelling at me to pull over and I'm just letting them by, pulling over, stopping, and I'm losing a lot of time in quite a few races just doing that. And that's definitely something you do not want to do in a GP. I mean, look at this trail. There's so many passing lines, so that was a mistake on my part. But we're coming in on this lap here, and I ended up skipping a lap just because nothing happened. So uh, this is my fourth lap, and out of nowhere, a guy comes flying down the hill and it's actually a lapper so I got lapped and that that was just crazy to me and I'll, I'll tell you why once we finish up this race here but um, you can see the guy that I had the battle with throughout this entire race he's right there we're at the end of the race now because we got lapped so now it's crunch time to try and get around him. So this last little wood section here, it was pretty tight. So what I ended up doing is I shifted down into first gear to try and stay on the power band a little bit more so I could position myself right on his rear fender and then try and make a last minute pass but at this point we are really running out of time there's not a lot of room to get around him So coming into the finish here, I only do four out of the five laps we were supposed to do because obviously I got lapped. And I don't get around this guy I was having the battle with for the entire race. So for Moto 1, I ended up finishing 12th out of 21. And I was actually really surprised with that result. Getting lapped, I figured I was towards the back of the pack. and. When you're in the middle to back of the pack, it's hard to gauge where exactly you are or what position you are, but 12th out of 21, that means almost half of the class, if not a little bit more, got lapped by the leaders. So 
That was surprising to me, but regardless, Moto 1 was a ton of fun, and I will see you all in Moto 2.